It's not going to help her in here from stem cell bed. The dogs that we see, like Amber here, um, that we're going to treat with stem cell therapy, we take her fat or an adipose sample from just inside her tummy here, and then that uh, sample gets sent to our lab. And what our lab does is um, grows or cultures the cells in many, many millions, depending on how many re we request, which depends on which joints we're treating and how many joints. Um, the process takes around a month um, because our lab needs to check the cells for sterility, for viability, that they're active and working, and also grow them in sufficient numbers and the numbers that, that we request for each individual, um, as in the case of Amber here. So, um, so and, and that process takes around a month. Some dogs take a little bit longer, up to six weeks, and some uh, grow the cells much more quickly and we get them a little bit earlier in. But that um, tells us why there's a gap between when we first um, see our patients and take a, an adipose or fat sample and we see them back to inject their stem cells into the joints um, for um, maximum benefit for pain reduction and um, great mobility um, for the rest of their lives.